Uh, my subject is upbound on lattice string number of knots. Uh, this work is joint work with Sing Sang Oh and Kyung Pyo Hong. Uh, uh, before uh, the introduce the theorem, uh, I will uh, some uh, I will give some definition and known result. First, uh, string knot means a, a simple closed curve in R3 which is consists of finite number of straight line segments. Uh, for example, uh, uh, this is a trefoil uh, with six sticks. And, uh, it it is uh, consists of a six straight line. Uh, and lattice sting knot means a uh, sting knot in the cubing lattice G3. G3 means uh, RGG union, GRG union, GGR. Uh, it means uh, every sticks are uh, uh, parallel to x, x, um, x axis or y, y axis or z axis. Uh, in this case, this is a trefoil with uh, 12 lattice sticks. Uh, 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 in this case, 4 x sticks, uh, uh, 4 x sticks, and 4 y sticks, and 4 z sticks. So uh, it is consists of 12 lattice sticks. And uh, the lattice stick number uh, notation is SLK over, over not K is a minimal number of sticks required to construct this lattice knot. And uh, the lattice edge number, uh, its notation is ELK over not K is a minimal length of lattice knot presentation. For example, uh, this is a trefoil with uh, 12 uh, 12 sticks. Uh, uh, th this is one stick and this is one stick. And its it length is 24. So uh, uh, from, from this, this point to this point, this is length 1. So uh, uh, in th uh, this figure is uh, this figure is uh, 12, 12 sticks like this knot and its length is 24. And it is known that it is minimal number of uh, uh, for, con for conscious trefoil. So we can say SL31 is 31 knot is 12 and EL31 knot is 24. Uh, and uh, this is uh, some known results. Uh, 2005, Ho and O showed that SL31 knot is 12 and SL41 knot is uh, 14. And SLK is greater than 14 for any other non trivial knot K. Uh, second, second result is about uh, lattice edge number. Uh, 1993, 93, uh, Diao showed that. Uh, uh, EL31 is 24 and ELK is greater than 24 for any other non-trivial not K. Uh, and these results are about uh, low bound and upper bound of uh, sting number of knots. Uh, 1991, Negami showed that S SK, uh, SK, SK means uh, sting number of knots. Uh, it, uh, uh, th this is um, relation of sting number of knots and crossing number of knots. Uh, so it, this is a low bound, low bound of sting, sting number, and this is a upper, upper bound. And 2010, uh, how and we find a more sharp upper bound of sting number, sting number, sting number. Uh, this is 3 over 2 CK plus 1 for um, non-trivial non knot K. Moreover, if K is a non-alternating prime knot, then SK is less than or equal to 3 times of, uh, sorry, 3 over 2 CK. Mm. Uh, our main theorem. Uh, theorem 1 is, uh, theorem 1 is about 
upper bound of SLK, lattice sting number, and theorem 2 is upper bound of lattice edge number. Let, it, uh, let K be a non-trivial knot, which is not a trefoil knot, then SLK is less than or equal to 3 times of CK plus 2. Moreover, if K is a not non-alternating prime knot, then SLK is less than or equal to 3 times of CK minus 4. And theorem 2 is similar to, similar with theorem 1, uh, ELK is less than or equal to half, half of 3 times of CK square plus uh, 4 times of CK plus 1. And if K is non alternating prime knot, then uh, this inequality is whole. Okay. Uh, before the proof, before the proof theorem, uh, I I will introduce about arc index because arc index is <laughs> uh, very important idea of uh, this this proof. Uh, first, uh, arc representation of uh, not K is uh, an ambient isotopic image of K contained in the union of many half planes in this. In this figure, uh, gray, gray half planes are pages, and with a common boundary line calling, uh, called bi binding axis in such such a way that each half plane contains a properly embedded single arc. Uh, in this figure, uh, this this red line is binding axis, and uh, every every half plane that uh, contains. Mm, uh, arc, uh, this blue arc. So, uh, and, and then this blue blue lines are homeomorphic to S1, so it's a knot. And in fact, in this case, this is a, a figure eight knot. Uh, and I will draw, uh, I will draw this. Uh, this figure, like this, uh, uh, I I will fold fold these pages. Then uh, this this is first page and second, third, fifth, fourth, fifth, sixth. So uh, this arc is this arc. So uh, I will uh, thi uh, this is the first page and this is second page. This is third page and so on. Uh, uh, from now, uh, our presentation of not drawn uh, by its way, uh, and an arc index alpha k of a not k is a minimum minimum of the number of arcs for arc presentation of not k. Uh, and it's known that trefoil has has an arc index five. And uh, figure eight has arc index six. Mm. This this is uh, uh, this is minim minimal arc presentation of figure eight. And next definition is circular arc presentation. Uh, for an uh, arc presentation of K, take a two-dimensional circular disk whose boundary actually indicates the binding axis combined with infinity. Look at this figure. Uh, this is infinity point and this is infinity point. Then we can, uh, if, if, if we combine the infinity point, then binding axis uh, goes to binding circle. And now draw alpha k cone instead of arc. So with uh, this arc changes in this code, and this arc changes, uh, this code, and so on. Uh, this expression is called a circular arc presentation of a not k. It is also arc, uh, arc presentation of not k. And uh, arc presentation of k is called star shape if the number of arc index alpha k is odd and the difference between two binding indices of the 
of the endpoint of each arc is always either n or n plus 1, where n is half of alpha k minus 1. Uh, look at this. Uh, in this case, uh, alpha k is 7, so uh, n is 3. Um, this this uh, endpoint of this arc is 1 and 4. Its difference is 3. Uh, in this case, also, difference is 3. In this case, difference is 4. And so on. So, difference is 3 or 4 ev for every arc. Then, uh, we can say it is star-shaped arc presentation. Uh, for example, uh, if if has a arc arc uh, such that its endpoint has different uh, different uh, not three or four in this case its difference is just one uh, this is, this arc has also uh, difference two not three or four so this arc this arc presentation is non-star shape. Uh, this is very important theorem of arc index. Uh, uh, first theorem is um, is proved by Bay and Park. Uh, let k be uh, on any non-trivial knot, then alpha k is less than or equal to ck plus 2. Moreover, if k is a non-alternating prime knot, then alpha k is less than or equal to ck plus 1. Later, uh, Jin and Park showed that uh, let k be any non-alternating prime knot, then alpha k is less than or equal to ck, not, uh, instead ck plus 1. Uh, from now, I will pro prove the theorem 1. Mm, SLK is less than or equal to 3 times of CK plus 2. And if uh, non alternative prime knot, SLK is less than or equal to 3 times of CK minus 4. Mm. First, uh, we, we draw other way uh, arc presentation. Uh, this binding axis moves. Uh, y equal x axis in uh, y x y plane, and and uh, each each arcs go to one x stick and one y stick turn turn arc. Uh, uh, then we can we can draw uh, this figure in in x y plane uh, with alpha k x sticks and alpha k y sticks. But we know that uh, every, uh, every arc has uh, its own level. Uh, this is first level and this is second level and so on. So uh, we, ca we can draw this arc presentation in R3 mm, uh, like this figure. Then uh, we require uh, three uh, alpha k z sticks because uh, there are uh, alpha k there are alpha k arcs like this. Uh, so uh, if if we if we want uh, if we want lattice knot if you want to make a lattice knot then uh, we can we can make this lattice knot with uh, three times of alpha k. Uh, alpha k x sticks and alpha k y sticks and alpha k z sticks. Uh, now we can easily reduce uh, two sticks by shortening the outer arcs like the figure. Uh, outer arc means uh, this arc and this arc and this arc, this arc. Uh, 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 if if we reduce uh, uh, in in this area, uh, no no more arcs go uh, go to so 
uh, we can reduce, we, we can shorten uh, this arc. Then uh, this this stick is short, shortened and this this stick is removed, and that stick is moved in this in this area, uh, and like this. So we can construct k with three times of alpha k minus two sticks. But uh, we but but I want. Uh, I want to construct k with three times of alpha k minus four sticks. So we reduce two. Uh, we we will reduce two more sticks. Uh, case case one is non-star shaped arc presentation. Uh, then. There are adjacent two R called L and M and a boundary point called P between the, the end point of the two arcs in outside of common end point in binding circle. Look at the figure. Uh, it's sorry. Uh, it's a non-star non -star shaped arc presentation. So uh, we can get uh, two arcs uh, L and M then uh, there is P between endpoint of L and endpoint of M uh, if uh, I go sorry uh, I go. if star shaped case uh, for any any two adjacent arc uh, in uh, in this area, no more point. No no more point. Uh, but if if non star shaped uh, presentation, then we can find uh, if if this this arc and this arc a bit uh, so uh, and between uh, we can find point point between this point and this point like this point. Uh, and take infin infinity point near P, then L and M are laid on the binding axis monotonically, and at least one of these arc isn't an out arc. Look at the figure. Uh, then if if we take infinity point in in this this, uh, in this point, then um, L is outer point, but uh, outer outer arc, but M isn't outer arc uh, because because P is uh, because P is a uh, outer point. Then by page number rotating, we can move arc M to opposite side of binding axis. Uh, before explain this 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 sentence. Uh, I will introduce um, what is the page number rotating. Uh, page, page number rotating means rotating the page number of an arc presentation. If we turn m, m number of pages, then each page number k goes to k plus m mo modular alpha k. Uh, if we have this arc presentation, uh, but uh, this uh, this this is the first page, but uh, we can move it to last page, and sec second page also. Uh, if in this case, uh, for example, m e m is three, then we will uh, this three. Three arcs goes to uh, goes to uh, goes to like this. Then uh, this this arc is become a first page and its second, third, uh, and it this uh, original first page goes to 
fourth phase, five, fifth phase, uh, second is second goes to fifth, th third goes to sixth, like this. Uh, so, uh, uh, by ta page, num page number rotating, uh, we uh, this this arc is M. Uh, we can we can move arc M to opposite side of binding axis like this only just uh, on, only this arc and remaining arcs are just remaining in this part then we can reduce two more sticks by shifting the height of the arc if shift this uh, height of this arc then uh, uh, there are or originally two x sticks, but it goes to one x stick and uh, uh, one uh, one z stick are removed. So we reduce two more sticks. We can say k consists of three times of alpha k minus four sticks. It means uh, SLK is less than or equal to 3 times alpha K minus 4. Uh, before uh, regard uh, case 2, uh, we define a new definition, a dual arc presentation. Uh, let two lines be in R3 such that they are not laid on the same plane like this. Uh, first one is a binding axis. This is this one. Over not K and the other has point that represent the height of the arcs. Uh, this point means uh, uh, height of arcs. The line is called height line. Uh, this, or this red line is height line. Then uh, we connect the middle point of the arc to point that represent its height and make the arc into turned line like this. Uh, this arc goes to like this. This is uh, highest, highest level and second uh, second level is it. it. It's height 5 and this arc and this arc, this arc and this arc. Mm, then it is it is just isotopy. Mm. Uh, then the not not type of K is preserved. Now regard the height line as binding axis and vice versa. Uh, this uh, we can regard this is height line. Uh, sorry, this is binding axis and this is height line. Then uh, this arc is. High, high star. This is the second high star, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Then uh, we can uh, then we can get a new arc representation of a not k, but it uh, not type is preserved. So uh, it uh, each arc representation and this arc representation is different, but this not type is same. Uh, we call that is a dual arc presentation of the original arc presentation. Uh, this is a dual arc presentation of this one. Uh, case two is star-shaped arc presentation. If a star-shaped arc presentation of K has a non-star-shaped arc dual arc presentation, uh, then it is done by case one. If if not, uh, it it means uh, K had uh, K has a uh, star shaped arc presentation and its dual arc presentation also star shaped arc presentation. Then the dot K is decided mm, like like this figure. Uh, in this case, alpha k is six seven. Uh, uh, 
it is a uh, n n plus one torus knot for two n plus one is alpha k, and it is known that the k over n n plus one torus knot is n square minus one, and and for uh, greater than or equal to three n alpha k. Uh, 2n plus 1 is less than, less than n square minus 1, but it's a uh, alpha k of n n plus 1 torus knot, and it's a uh, uh, crushing number of n n plus 1 torus knot. Mm. Uh, sorry, uh, why uh, I can explain why it is uh, n n plus 1 torus knot. Uh, by figure, mm. in, in this case, uh, this uh, some some uh, after some isotopy, uh, we can uh, we can find uh, this this uh, uh, three four torus knot. Uh, so uh, ah, and we. We can say n is less than uh, greater than or equal to three because k isn't a trefoil mm. in the state. Uh, uh, n two three two three torus. Uh, if n is two, then two three torus not is trefoil. So uh, we can say alpha k is strictly less than c k in this case then uh, SLK is less than or equal to 3 times of alpha K minus 2 uh, um, and uh, this is 3 times of CK minus 5 uh, from, from, from this inequality and uh, it's, stri uh, it's, it's trivially is less than or equal to 3 times of CK minus 4 so we can say SLK is in this case SLK is less than or equal to 3 times of CK minus 4. Uh, by case 1, if K is alternating, then SLK is less than or equal to 3 times of CK plus 2. Because alpha K is less than or equal to CK plus 2. Uh, uh, we, we, uh, in, in case 1, we get a uh, SLK is less than or equal to 3 times of alpha K minus 4. And by case 1 and 2, if K is non-alternating and prime, then SLK is less than or equal to 3 times of CK minus 4, because uh, in this case, alpha K is less than or equal to CK. And special case, uh, sorry, there you go. Oh, no, no, no. A special case, uh, we mm, directly SLK is, uh, we show SLK is less than or equal to 3 times of CK minus 4. Uh, then uh, the theorem is proved. Now, uh, this is theorem 2. Uh, let K, uh, K be a non non trivial knot with which is not a trefoil knot then here k is less than or equal to uh, this uh, hold this inequality and if k is non alternating prime knot then this inequality is hold uh, now we will say uh, let this thing knot k is proper level if every x level uh, respectively y level or z, z level contains exactly two endpoints of x sticks respectively y sticks and z sticks look at the figure mm. uh, uh, it's, it's a uh, ith level of, of x, uh, x direction and uh, in this case uh, 
each each level each each level uh, each level contains uh, this this part and this part. So uh, these black lines are x x x sticks, and each endpoint is is contained in ith level in this in this uh, in this area and here and here and here but it's not two four uh, if proper we can say proper level if you know, x level contains equals to two endpoint uh, in uh, in this case uh, this level contains two points and this level contains two points just two points. Uh, thi uh, this figure is not properly leveled, and this this figure is properly level. Uh, uh, okay, this this figure is properly leveled projection. But if we have uh, prop, if, but if we have proper non proper not properly leveled uh, presentation, then we can make a properly leveled presentation without mm, change number of uh, lattice thing number. Uh, if if uh, if we uh, if uh, if uh, i level goes to i level and i plus one level, then increase one one more level, but not increase the lattice thing number because just uh, it's uh, just each uh, each stick are goes to longer, but it just uh, uh, just one stick in this in this case. So we uh, uh, by proof of theorem one. Uh, that k is represented by three times of ck minus four sticks, and the number of x sticks, y sticks, and z sticks are alpha k minus two, alpha k minus one, alpha k minus one, respectively. And the presentation is properly labeled uh, because uh, because uh, x uh, x labels are. Uh, Already, uh, x levels are already properly leveled and y level also, and each arc has uh, its own own level. So we can say uh, this this presentation is just uh, mm, properly leveled. Mm. So we can get a maximum of total length of x sticks and y sticks and z sticks. Uh, in this figure, uh, if if we, it ha uh, if x number of x uh, x sticks are six, then there are six x level like this figure. Then in this area, um, m most two edge edge means uh, stick of length one. Uh, Okay, and then uh, because if there are more, there are more edges, then this level is not properly leveled. Uh, similarly, uh, in, in this area, at most four edges, at most six edges, like this, uh, uh, it is also that y and z level. Uh, if the number of x sticks is k, then an upper bound of total length of k sticks is half of k square minus one. And if k uh, if k is odd and is half of, half of k square, if k is even. Uh, in this in this case, uh, it has a six levels and. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 edges, uh, m, m most 18 edges. Uh, and 
uh, this is uh, uh, half of half of square of six is uh, eighteen. So uh, here uh, we 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 have uh, this 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 x six this y this that six. Uh, so here k is less than or equal to. A a a a is alpha k, so uh, k, k square minus one is k minus one and k plus one. So uh, we can get uh, this inequality, and if a is even, then this inequality is whole. Uh, so we can say uh, this this is uh, it is a is alpha k, and well, we know that a, uh, alpha k is less than or equal to ck, CK plus 2 so we can get this inequality and for a non-alternating prime knot we can get uh, this inequality uh, so theorem 2 is proved thank you